Welcome! In this video, you will learn how to create multiple subprojects for mixed use and non residential buildings. Multiple subprojects are used when there is more than one building type in a project, such as a residential building with retail on the first floor. An exception would be if the secondary use of the building comprises less than 10% of the total floor area or less than 1,000 square meters. Then, the entire building can be certified under the primary use of the building. It's important to note that multiple subprojects can also be used when taking a phased approach to your projects. As an example, let's design a mixed use office building in Nigeria that has retail space on the first floor. To get started, log into the Edge app. You'll see a menu on the left of the screen. From there, select the typology. Let's begin with the office component of our building. Now, enter the project details. The number of distinct buildings field represents the number of buildings in your project. While our building has both an office and a retail space, it is a single building. In this case, the number of distinct buildings should be indicated as one. If our project included two towers, we would indicate two here. This is an important field for tracking purposes that does not impact calculations in EDGE. Let's enter the sub-project details for our office. The sub-project multiplier field is reserved for special instances when there are two towers that are identical. For example, if there were two identical towers, we would model only one as a sub-project and enter the number two in this field. Edge would then automatically double the resource use of the sub-project. Since our project is a single tower, let's enter the number one. Once the project, subproject, and location data sections are complete, let's save our subproject. Next, let's go to our dashboard. As you can see, the office subproject has been created. We can reopen our saved subproject at any time to continue designing our building. Now, to create the retail subproject, click the Create New button or the Retail typology from the menu on the left. In the Project Details section, begin to type the same project name as before, then select the corresponding project from the drop-down menu. The project details will then auto-populate. Next, enter the sub-project and location data details for the retail portion of our building. We can now save our second sub-project. We can check to ensure both subprojects are associated with our project in the project details section. Finally, remember to check that the total project floor area matches the aggregate floor area of our project. Now that our two subprojects are linked, we can continue to design, register, and certify our building. 